Okay, here we have question number four from M1, January 2015, International Able. Um, the points P and Q are at the same height, H above horizontal ground. Okay, so let's say here, whoops, daisy. Supposing here you have your horizontal ground. And here you have your point P and here you have your point Q. Okay, so P and Q, make that a bit thinner. So P and Q are both the same distance above horizontal straight ground. Okay. That's, that's a, whoops. So that's the same distance um, H. Sorry, what's going on here? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay. There we are. Sorry about that. Okay. So that's the distance H above the ground. Okay. A small stone is dropped from rest at P. Okay. So a small stone is dropped from rest at P. Okay. So it's gone down. Its initial speed is zero. Okay. That's when time equals zero. Then half a second later, okay, so when t equals 0 0.5, uh, a second small stone is thrown vertically downwards from p. So this is thrown downwards with a speed of 7.35 meters per second. Given that the stones hit the ground at the same time, find the value of h. Okay, so now let's look at p and let's look at q and let's look at our SUVA equations for them. Okay. Right. This has fallen a distance of H meters. This has fallen a distance of H meters. This had an initial speed of zero. This had initial speed of 7.35 meters per second. Now I'm going to take down as positive for both of these cases because that's the initial motion so that's a positive 0 0.7.35 the final speed we don't know and this final final speed we don't know they're different these will be different values the acceleration is going to be due to gravity for both of them they're falling under gravity so this is going to be 9.8 and this is also going to be 9.8 both positive because i'm taking down as positive now this has been in the air for t seconds okay and this has been in the air for because i hit the ground at the same time t minus 0 0.5 seconds this was dropped five seconds later so for it to hit the, the the ground at the same time as p okay that means it's been it's been traveling five seconds less than p okay so the, we got the times in terms of the same uh, variable there so now Let's see how we can use this to find the value of h. Well, I know that basically h is the same for both of these. So let's have an equation in terms of s, u, a, and t. Well, you've got s equals u, t plus a half a, t squared. Okay, u, t plus a half a, t squared. So we can see that for both of those cases, they're both going to be h. So I can say here, h is equal to now u is zero in this case, times t, which is zero, okay, that's going to give you zero, plus a half times 9.8 times t squared. And for this one, you're going to, yeah, so for the second um, stone, q, uh, what we've got to do here is do the same thing. We've got s is h, whoops, change color for some reason. So you have S is your H, so H equals, now you've got U times T, so U is 7.35. Now this time T is T minus 0 0.5. T minus 0 0.5 plus a half times 9.8 times, again, T minus 0 0.5 squared. So these two are going to be equal to each other because they're both equal to the h, the height that they fell. So this is going to be 4.9 t squared equals, and you're going to have this, so 7.35 times t 
minus um, a half of 7.35. So half times 7.35 gives you 3.675. 675. And you're going to have plus 4.9. So half times 9.8 times. And this will be t squared minus 1t and plus um, 0.5 squared which is 0.25 plus 0.25 okay so let's just now try to solve this um, you have 4.9 t squared it looks like a quadratic but I think it will cancel out this and this so we're left with the, an, a nice linear equation 7.35 t minus 3.675 and now expand the bracket here plus 4.9 t squared minus 4.9 times t plus and you got 4.9 times 0.25 4.9 0.25 which gives you 1.225 1.225 okay so this will cancel with this because if you subtract them from both sides they'll become so you have zero equals you got 7.35 t minus 4.9 t so you got 7.35 t 7.35 minus 4.9 gives you 2.45 so you got 2.45 t and then you got minus 3.675 plus 1.225 Okay, so you got minus 3.675, minus 3.675, 3.675, plus 1.225. That gives you minus 2.45, minus 2.45. Aha, that's a nice, easy answer now. This pen is getting messed up, sorry. Okay, so we can say that 2.45 t equals 2.45, so t equals one second. Okay, so t is equal to one second, but that's not the question. The question is asking us to find um, the value of h, so we can just use that the value of t in any of these two equations this is obviously easier so we can say h is equal to a half times 9.8 times 1 squared which is 4.9 meters and there we have it the answer to the question